for Golden Gate, they were laughing so hard uh, that they couldn't talk to us for like five minutes and they said, you know, this is the cost of our whole IT department. So maybe we shouldn't uh, use Golden Gate, maybe there are other products. And well, of course, they are, there are other products, but um, in the middle of discussion, when they were saying all the time, this is too uh, expensive, this is too expensive, this is too expensive, we, we thought, well, maybe you might like to buy, uh, to, to use some open source products. Oh, there is one. No, but we can write it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, we agreed that we will write a product and they will buy a support, only a support for a product for five years, perhaps. So we spent writing our own replication product, which will be open source, as I will be sure it's pretty stable. <laughs> um, and, well, it sounded very easy, because, well, we will just open archive logs and parse them, right? Logminer can do it, Golden Gate can do it, DBVisit can do it, uh, apparently you did it already, like, long time ago, so, yeah, it's doable, so let's just open our hex editors and parse it, easy, right? But you know this, uh, uh, you know how to draw an owl? No? It's like, draw some circles and then draw the, the, the rest of the owl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we were at the level, uh, yeah, we had some circles, <laughs> now let's do the rest. So, um, uh, okay, this was the last slide. <laughs> um, so we opened a hex editor. And, well, you are watching at it, and you are thinking, well, I can see almost everything I need. Now, let's think. Three months later, <laughs> 16 vodkas later, <laughs> a sea of beer later, aha, I know how to parse these two bytes. So, uh, to understand, before I show you uh, a little bit about, about the product itself, I want to explain to you what actually is going on at the read-log level. Uh, because some things were um, quite a surprise. Uh, first of all, you have to realize that each time you are executing a DML, uh, you won't find in a read log just a DML, but you will find a change to each and every row. So if you are executing an update which will change 100 rows from the read log perspective, uh, you will have 100 little updates for each and every row, right? And for each and every row, for each and every change, you will also have in a read log or in an archive log, uh, undo information. So if you did update one to two, one to two, <laughs> uh, you will have this little change, and in undo, you will have how to update from 2 to 1, back. So absolutely, each and every time you do uh, a delete, for example, it will have to create a delete uh, for each row in read log, and in undo, it will have to be the insert with the whole row that is missing right now. That's why deletes are shitty. 
Oh, that's only that's why it's not this is this is this is this is one of the reasons reasons. So uh, let's start with something simple to show you. Uh, the easiest thing you can do uh, if you want to learn what is inside the little lock or, or arcade lock is to use uh, a dump file. Ultra system dump log file translates, parses uh, a binary archive log to a, well, almost readable form uh, of a trace file. So if I will, if I will do something with, well, let's skip uh, log file and let's do something simple like update employee that salary let's give a raise to someone yeah. someone got a raise happy so right now mm, I have this change in this little archive log at the beginning if I want to check what's happened uh, I can just perform a dump alter system dump log file and check the trace and I said that the trace is almost readable because well at the beginning when you go through this trace, just page after page, um, well, this is not telling you a lot, isn't it? So at the beginning, it's a little bit hard to learn what's going on at the log level. Uh, but to make it a bit easier, if you will ever be able, uh, if you ever want to learn yourself what's inside, uh, I created a very simple tool uh, for for the learning purposes. Uh, it's called Apud. If you read it from backwards, it's Dupat. Uh, Dupat in Polish means ass, but I think you know that. <laughs> uh, but it means archive log parser using dump file. So Apud. Uh, this little script uh, which is of course available to download from, from, from my blog this little script uh, just goes through the text file and you can say the, um, you can say to the script just show me all redo changes from the dump file based for example on the data object ID of um, uh, of uh, um, a segment you are looking for or if you connect to Oracle, get dictionary, you can just say parse file and put the name of the object. So how it looks like. You can just start it, up, uh, get dictionary. say parse file uh, or hr.employees I have a few more changes here a few changes I did previously uh, so what's happening all data we are changing uh, all data in the read logs are organized in the read records read record is like an atomic thing for read log it's either applied by Erman all at once or nothing at all from read record uh, and read record is uh, consists of a set of change vectors each change vector has